Apple iOS 15 now brings blurred background to FaceTime. It's called FaceTime Portrait Mode. It works with the front facing camera only though. This helps put the focus on you and reduces distractions behind you by blurring the background. The great news is this feature isn't just limited to FaceTime. It also works inside Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp and more. This means on an iPhone with iOS 15, when you're creating an Instagram story or Facebook story in selfie video mode, you can also get that blurred background look. Or if you're doing a video call on Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, you can also get the blurred background portrait mode similar to FaceTime. It's the same type of technology than that of iPhone 13's new cinematic mode, which you can learn all about right here. Let's now see how we activate FaceTime portrait mode. First of all, and most obviously, you need to have installed iOS 15 on your iPhone or iPad, so check that and download it if you haven't already. Next, open up the FaceTime app. This interface has completely changed. It now gives you an option to create a new FaceTime call, choose from a list of recent FaceTime calls and the ability to create a link. I won't go into the create a link feature in this video, but what it enables you to do is to FaceTime with any other device, be it Windows or Android. Right, back to portrait mode. Providing you are inside the FaceTime app, when you swipe to open the control center, you will notice there are two new options at the top, effects and mic mode. Real quick with mic mode, if you're in a noisy room, select voice isolation and your iPhone will do a great job to remove unwanted background noises. So I definitely recommend this. But when we tap effects, you can see that here is where we activate portrait mode. So tap that to turn it on. Now, when we go back to FaceTime, portrait mode is ready to go. So let's make a dummy FaceTime call here to my other iPhone to see that. Here we are, you can see my background is nicely blurred to separate me from it. It's not as dramatic as the blurred background effect in say Zoom meeting, of which you can see a video on right here of course, but I think it's a very pleasing effect. Righto, there's actually a quicker way to toggle portrait mode during a FaceTime call. Say we're on a call here, you can see your preview video in the bottom right corner. Tap that to enlarge it. Then in the top left, there is a toggle for portrait mode. Tap it to turn it on and off. Let's now compare FaceTime portrait mode by toggling it. Now it's off and on again. Pretty cool, hey? You can also use other effects at the same time as portrait mode. So we can come down here and choose, say, a emoji. That's one I've created for myself there. And you can see we still have the blurred background. And again, when I toggle off and on again, you can see that the blurred background effect works just fine with these other video effects. Let's turn that off and end the call. So what about using portrait mode blurred background in an Instagram or Facebook story? Well, you can see when we go here to Instagram and tap create a story, we have the forward facing camera. Again, when we swipe down to open the control center, we have those two same new areas. So again, we can just tap on effects, then portrait mode on and boom, we can see the blurred background look there. Same with Facebook, add to story, camera, swipe, effects, turn on, and boom. What about a messenger video call? Well, you will need to start dialing a call before you will see the option available in the control center. And of course, it's the same for WhatsApp calls as well, as you can see here again. iPhone portrait mode blurred background on the front facing selfie video camera works on many other video and messaging applications as well. So try swiping into the control center on your favorite app to see if it's supported. Unfortunately, TikTok hasn't yet adopted this, but hopefully we'll see that soon, as well as maybe seeing a portrait mode toggle switch directly inside each of these apps, hint, hint, like there is inside FaceTime. Watch this video next to see another fantastic feature rolled out in Apple iOS 15. It's called Live Text, and in the camera app, when you hover the camera over some text, it enables you to instantly interact with that text. It also works with existing photos on your camera roll. You'll be impressed to see another great fantastic, another great fantastic feature.